Well, good morning everyone and welcome to a little bonus vlog. Many of you do enjoy a trip to, of course, Walmart here We're on the 192. And we're gonna go inside, do our full shop uh, with mum and dad for the next three weeks. Yeah. We'll show you the prices, show you some hints and tips of what we would do. Um, and take along with us, everyone enjoyed it last time. We're gonna go through all the crisp aisles, the sweet aisles. Places. show you all the different snacks all the different american options so i decided to do this as a full separate video because we are going to spend a little while in there and i wanted to show you it all in depth so join us and then uh, come on inside walmart here on the 192 in orlando okay here we go then guys we are on walmart just on the 192 here and um, we are going to stock up a little bit this time because we have got uh, three weeks so we can actually sort of load up a little bit and fill the fridges and get you know, good stock of drinks. So we'll uh, go around. So we'll have a chat with mum and dad. are going to get their trolley. We're going to get our trolley. We're just going to make sure we get everything that we need. Uh, my sister Sarah and Scott and little Jude are going to be uh, coming over in a few days. So we've got to stock up a little bit for them as well for when they arrive. But uh, let's head in and enjoy some American supermarket shopping. Look at Laura's buzzing here, look. Excited. Look. Even Walmart's got a smell, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna head in here. This is open from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. This store. So you can get yourself in at six in the morning. Probably lovely and quiet then. It's quite quiet now. It's currently about half past eight. You know, nice and quiet. Love the smell. Here, Laura said it's got a smell. Wow, they are some funky different pumpkins, eh? Look at that. It's mad, that, isn't it? How do they do that? All these different ones, stuff. Yeah. They are good, aren't they? You'd have a few if you had a front garden. A few different ones. They're your traditional ones at the back. And these are real. These are like your funky box. Starting off, you've got a massive fresh fruits and vegetable uh, section here, which Laura loves. She's going to get a few fruit boxes. Over there, you've got the deli, which I love. I'll show you that. They do all like uh, chicken strips and things like that. If you want a quick takeaway dinner, uh, which we might probably will do one night at the villa, grab a load of chicken and they do wedges and stuff and just cheap, easy dinner. Oh, trolley doesn't sound too happy. <laughs> But yeah, I've got all of these different... Is there stuff in here, Laura, that they haven't got in the UK fruit-wise? Um, or you just picked up a couple of fruit boxes? Yes, we do all these different types of And of course, we're going to head over to the uh, all my cookies and that that I love. Nice fresh limes there. These do just remind me of that TikTok that is going around all over the place at the moment. The uh, corn song. Big melons. Everyone likes a big melon. Look at these, you've got even like mini versions of these pumpkins. And again, these are real. They do love their Halloween over here. <laughs> Big lump with knobs. It's got the juice. <laughs> can you tell me all about it? <laughs> the deli here, so you can see what I mean. You can get this lovely crispy chicken here. That's got like a sweet sauce on it. You can get wings. You can get wedges. You can get mac and cheese. You can get a big bucket of that. Take it back to the villa if you've got a big family. And uh, it's not mega expensive, but you've got nice fresh cooked, already done, quick, easy dinner, sorted, chill by the pool or in the hotel room. Even grab a quick hot dog there as well. I'm oh, good, thank you. Thank you very much. And um, you've got corn dogs there as well. Quick tub of popcorn, chicken, just dead quick and easy. Good to go food. You've got some family size uh, ravioli, different, some fast things that you can make here. But I do like that deli section, big rotisserie chickens as well. Just dying up some of the cakes and cheese cakes and things here. Got your carrot cake there, your traditional New York cheesecake, chocolate cake, that looks good, that chocolate cake. 
and a double chocolate truffle filled cake as well. Vanilla cupcake. You could spend ages in here, Mum. Don't get caught in the cake section. You could be in trouble. You've gone for loads of uh, fruit and veg as well. Is it? How much is that then? They were $4. Yeah. And the cucumber was $2. So $4 for the grapes. Yeah. And what, $2 for a cucumber, plus, plus tax as well, yeah. which has, gets add on at the that till at the end. Because you can get a cucumber at home for a pound. So a quid at home, yeah. especially with the exchange rate. That's the problem is the exchange rate at the moment. It, it's not probably not expensive for Americans, but for us now with the exchange rate yeah. being so poor. Fancy a cake, mum, you know? Nice big <laughs> chocolate parfait. I'd get that and eat it. I love these here. If you like different cheesecakes, you can get a whole one, but with all different flavours in. Here's your donuts here, but I do prefer my Krispy Kremes. But these are pretty good. But I would uh, definitely rather get a box of Krispy Kremes if I could. All your Rice Krispie treats. Some of uh, people's favourites, them. They love their Rice Krispie treats over here. And then all these sugar cookies on the other side that everyone loves. Everyone loves sugar cookies. Let me show you these. Here's all your different cookies here. Got some brownies there as well. And all these little, ooh, little mini red velvet cakes. Ooh, hey. So, I love key lime pie and I love lemon meringue and this is both together. I think I might have to get that. It stays fresh until the 12th. Might have to get that. Warmed up. That's a, that's a mix of my two favourite desserts, that is. $7. I mean, it's expensive, but you've got to treat yourself, haven't you? You know what I mean? I've not come all the way from Tenerife to not get a key lime meringue. Key lime meringue, I'm getting Laura. A key lime meringue. So I love me lemon meringue, love me key lime. Combine the two together. Quids in there, Mum. I'll save you the slither. Cheers, love. We're going to go aisle by aisle. Laura's food is all mixed in. Laura is gluten free. So we have to find some allergy things. Here's a Mickey Mouse cookies and cream. $6.97. We do get quite a few in there. They're very similar to the ones they sell in the parks, but a little bit cheaper in a multi pack. Oh, we've got M&M's cookie sandwiches. All these ice creams look really good. Drumstick. Oh. I'm going to keep going down the ice cream section. White Magnums. So for three White Magnums is $4.98. So with the current exchange rate, that's near on £5. Here you go, Stranger Things, L with their Eggos. There's all your Eggos there, buttermilk, home style. They do have these as well, if you want a quick, you know, quick start to the day before heading off to the parks. These egg and cheese croissant sandwiches, bang them in the microwave for a minute and a half, and you're good to go. Nice, quick and easy. You can even eat them in the car on the way to the park if you want to get up and out. You don't want to be cooking around. If you were all staying in a villa or anything, you've got loads of them, all these different breakfast biscuits. Just bang them in, nice and quick and easy start to the day. And some of these ice cream buckets now, look at the size of these. Off we go. Chocolate chip and cookie dough, strawberry, buttered pecan. Ooh, ooh sherbet lime. That'd be nice, I do love my lime over here. Pizzas is another nice, quick and easy option if you're trying to uh, save a bit on eating out. You get a big pizza here, $4.98. They look nice, them as well. So there is quite a few options if you're trying to save a little bit. As we all know, the uh, cost of living's going up and the exchange rate is pretty poor for dollars at the moment. So you just gotta try and save where you can. Little box of cake snacks, take them to the parks. Have them in the fridge, lemon loaf, Ooh, nice. $3.98. Some stuff is fairly reasonably priced, some stuff with the exchange rate uh, is just hurt a little bit.
Oh, you found us, have you? With your box of Bud Light. Where did you go missing? I'm down on the beach, Ali. Hey. Bud Light. Get your priorities right, guys. Did yeah, you, you know, when we're shopping for food, you get your Bud Lights in. <laughs> Can't even tell us the price of them, can you? Does it matter? This is the <laughs> one thing that doesn't matter. I'm not price matching these. <laughs> We've got corn dogs here. This is a bit of a mixed style, this one. You've got some quick and easy meals as well, again in here. Chicken parmigiana. It's one of Laura's favorites. If it, chicken parmigiana in, if it was gluten-free, you'd be all over that, wouldn't you, Laura? Yeah. Chicken pot pie. They, now, they look really Now, um, you'll notice the American chicken pies aren't really like they are in the UK. It's all white yeah. gravy, isn't it? Yeah. Not. Yeah. Your dark gravy in there. And then over here we've got a little bit of Tex-Mex going on. Beef and cheese. Taquitos. Very nice. What's Laura found here? What are you eyeing up here, Laura? Eggplant parmigiana. Eggplant parmigiana. Oh, yeah. See, this is what Laura, my sister will be all over this. Oh, macaroni cheese. Alfredo. Should be all over that. So we've got grilled chicken with white meat chicken breast topped with creamy herb gravy. That's eight dollars thirty-seven for four chicken breasts. Just to give you an idea of uh, sort of prices. Again, it's quite a sort of quick and easy thing to cook in a villa, really. What you'll find is you will save on bigger things if you can try and get big pizzas. I mean, look at that big cheese pizza there, three dollars. You can get big pack things and all of this great value is Walmart's own brand so they generally will be the cheapest so out of all the pizzas that'll probably be pretty good you know you're saving a, a dollar on the other brand because it's the own brand one in there Eddie Giano, Giordano's, Giano's uh, they're uh, a famous brand as you can see big price difference but they are very popular as you Rising Crust Original. Some good ones there. Let's have a look at some of these. We've got Checkers Famous Seasoned Fries. I bet you they're stunning. $4.13. Seasoned Curly Fries. Oh, those Checkers ones look really good, to be fair. Look at the seasoning on them. They look pretty epic. There you go, Tater Tots. Great value, $1.82 for a load of Tater Tots. They're nice on the side, even if they're not with breakfast, they're lovely on the side of things. I'll tell you what, yeah. there's some very nice ding meals in here. That's what I'm just talking about, ding meals, quick action things for the parks. Uh, some of these I've had before, like your chicken fried rice, uh, sweet and sour chicken. $6.48, but you'll be fed big time and it's job done. Or if you've got a bigger family, you can get a bigger box, orange chicken. All kinds of different uh, Chinese options. This is P.F. Chang, so this is the restaurant that we went to with Laura. So this is the restaurant actually sells their products uh, inside as well. So I actually had that, I think, the teriyaki chicken. I had the fried rice as well. This is lovely. This, this, this is a restaurant we've been to before. Nice stuff, that. So you got a whole section of like frozen smoothies stuff here. Some frozen fruits. Handy to have as a little snack. You've got a big, big frozen bag of sweet cherries there. Nice. Yeah, this is all frozen fruit and then frozen vegetables as well. Cauliflower. Sprouts. I love sprouts. Any sprouts fans? Give me some love in the comments. Sprouts deserve some love. Yeah, you just grab a load of uh, your frozen veggies. As I said, anything with great value on is going to normally be very reasonably priced it's all walmart owned brand uh, the equivalent of asda owned brand products so anything with that on you're going to be pretty sorted and then all your different breads look at this look at the amount of breads here and how many choices of bread can you have and of course your bagels i've already got some some of them in the trolley again you've got like blueberry bagels you've got cinnamon raisin yeah, plain I've gone for, um, all different ones, we've got more uh, wholemeal style, and then we're into some cookies, 
s'mores, cupcakes, they look nice. So you can see the difference, very similar product, $2.50 for eight or $3.12 for eight. So you're gonna save a little bit and that's that great value again. Smells of cinnamon down here. Smells very American. These are all just little snack cakes if you wanted any snack cakes or donuts and things. What were you getting here, Laura? You've been running off from me here. Again. Okay. So they've got all the gluten-free together. Alright, okay. So we've got all our gluten-free together. That's nice. Yeah. You picking up some meals and you need to pick up to help me pick up some meals for me as well. We are gonna be eating in a little bit this trip. We are, yeah. We've had a lot of stick the last two trips, Laura. Do you ever eat in? Do you ever cook in the villa? Well this time we will be. We, yeah. we are here for longer, yeah, so, so I'm off you go. Chicken lettuce for obviously chicken. Yeah, we'll pizza. Pizza and a muffin. And you didn't tell us about these. What are these caramel apple dips? Oh, you didn't mention them, did you? <laughs> so this is all gluten-free together now, is it? It's, yeah, it's all chewed around, so it's healthier living and gluten-free together. And stuff. Oh, well, that makes it easier. If you have got allergies, it's all together now, which uh, makes it all a little bit easier. I'll try and open these up, show you some of them. So a lot of this is your organic, your vegan stuff here as well. All together, keto. Nice. I've got to keep talking over the music as well. You all right there, Dad? Yeah, just being interested. Iron up even more ale. Some beer I haven't had. If anyone, if anyone was wondering, is Bud Light was twenty-two dollars forty-eight, but that's a bit cheaper than Horror Nights nine dollars fifty a can last night. Plus tax. Plus tax. Nine fifty. So call it ten. Tenner. Tenner for a can of Bud Light. At the exchange rate, yeah, tenner. Yeah. So obviously you're gonna save 24 cans, 22 bucks. That's nearly a dollar a can, really. One dollar fifty a can. So is that not an excessive profit margin? Oh, it's unreal. Because Universal are not paying a dollar. No, a can, are they'll they? be paying probably 50, 50 cents. cents a can. But the, the, that's the, the, that's the, where the, the, the way it works. Sometimes. Now this is a, a one of many people's favourite aisles. All of these different IPAs we've got going on. If you're an IPA fan. All these different ales, Big Wave Golden Ale, Mango Cart. You've, this is all beer and alcohol in here. So many different beer options. The Mikey's Hard Lemonade and Ice. You like the Mikey's, don't you, Mum? Yeah. Those Hard Lemonades. Heineken in abundance. And they don't just have Corona here. They have Corona Light, which is uh, easier on your calories. Uh, and there is a few of those, there's Corona Premier. And then you've got your Michelob Ultra. There's Michelob Ultra Light, Michelob Ultra Infusions, Lime and Prickly Pear Cactus. Wow, that's an interesting fusion. And then you've got Pomegranate and Agave. So, so many different flavors. <clears throat> Oktoberfest, Bud Light Orange, Bud Light Citrus Variety Pack. Bud Light Chalada. There are so many different ones that you can get. These are my favorite bottles though. These tin bottles, so good. They just seem to taste nicer out of those tin bottles in my opinion. Really do like them in there. Now when you've got all your different Budweiser's, Coors Light, <laughs> Miller Light. That's a nice beer, Miller Light. And then some other different ales. Look at the size of that can. It's massive, $2.50. That's like a pint can, that. Oh, Mum's just found. Yeah, just mentioned that. 95 calories of can. Nice. This guy's. Moet. Yeah, Mum's just said it. Mum's, is this, this your favourite, yeah? This is what I want. This is my favourite rosé Moe Chandon, but yeah. 68 bucks. Right. So this is what I'm getting, which is clearly a copy. This is like, the, this is like your, your own brand version. Yeah, yeah. 20 bucks. $20, yeah. So You're going to get three of them for the price of that one. Maybe you'll treat yourself to that at yeah. one, one well, point. No, maybe you'll treat me to that. All oh, right, you know what I mean? <laughs> that goes trolley full here. And that goes back. 68 dogs. Plus tax. 
So I wonder what that would be in England. What is the speciality? Rose Why do you like that so much? Is that so it's rose? Can you get that in England? You can't get it in England. It just doesn't walk around. No. And the nectar is a nectar. Imperial nectar. Okay. So if anyone knows where to get the rose in England, or you've seen it in England, let me know and how much it would be in England. So the nectar one. Call it seventy dollars here. How much would that be in England? Let me know in the comments, guys. No. Okay, no, I'll be more than that now. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Do You'll let me know. Different liquors here. We've got uh, all kinds of, basically big bottles of cocktail, margarita, pina colada. Now I will say, the size of that wine, Laura. I was gonna say we were saying that I'll be living with you. Five dollars ninety-eight. Wow, and that's a eight. huge bottle. Would you say that's nearly two bottles of wine, yeah. isn't it? So the wine here in Florida is cheap. If you're a wine drinker and you're not too fussed on it being super fancy, this barefoot is sort of the most popular. Um, you'll get a bit better quality, it's about $10, but that is a big bottle, big bottle. So yeah, your wines, even the yellowtail, the wines are all very reasonable. It's the, it's the actual liquors, your bottles of Jack Daniels, your vodkas, where it starts getting expensive. So if you're a wine drinker, you won't set up too bad of a time here. See, you can go super fancy, $52, or you can go for some of the cheaper range, $10. You've got a variety there. Do like me Mikey's hard lemonade, hard black cherry lemonade. I bet you they're lovely as well. Smirnoff Ice Pink Lemonade. Ooh, hey. Smirnoff Seltzer Pink Lemonade again. Corona Tropical. And then all your White Claws. Different flavors, Black Cherry, Ruby Grapefruit, Blueberry. So I'm doing my best to show you everything here, guys. I'm doing my best to Try and film all of the aisles for you. Tackies, everyone seems to love these. These are chili and lime. Blue heat. And our next style is gonna be tea, coffee, creamer, and condiments. This is your McCafe. So let's see, Laura. $6.32 for your Nescafe Classic, which with the current exchange rate is about six pounds. So I would try and bring that in your suitcase if you can. You can empty it out of the glass jar, bring it in a little sandwich bag. You're gonna save some money if you wanna drink coffee here and make it at home. If you, if you want your specific brand, here's all your ranchers. I'm sure dad will pick up a bottle of ranch. Loves all these different ranches. Olive Garden, Italian ranch there. And the most popular is this Hidden Valley one though. I'm sure dad will be down here. Enjoying some of this honey mustard steakhouse sauce. Oh, look at all the different mayonnaises. How many different mayonnaises can you have, Laura? Oh, that looks like mayonnaise. Oh, it's got lime. Oh, lime in it. Love a bit of lime in there in the things, don't they? I love lime. But yeah, you've got all your usual Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. Let's see how much a box of Starbucks would be. So $17 for your caramel latte, pumpkin spice up there. Everything, there's a lot of pumpkin spice around during this time, during fall, Halloween season. They love pumpkin spice. Any olive fans? <laughs> it's got so many different olives, all different shapes, sizes, cuts, flavors, you name it. And then all of your peanut butter. You'll have seen this on Stranger Things as well. It's the first thing he does, shoves his fingers in a bar of Jif, I think it is that he has, and your Nutella as well. But again, you've always got your great value option um, here, which is always gonna be a little bit cheaper. Ooh, cookie butter, Biscoff. Um, Jif normally. And then here, great value. So that is huge and that is four bucks. So, you know, you're not gonna get all that, Laura. But there you go, $1.74. Not for that big one, it's not. 
$1.74 for the uh, regular size would be ample. Jams, $5.97. I hope you're enjoying this, everyone. And here is all your instant mash. You like this, though, don't you, Laura? Yeah. Sour cream and chives, instant mash. Loaded cheese. These are quick and easy to do, these, aren't they? You just add a bit of milk, don't you? Hot water, that's it. Hot water, that's it. Job done. Got big packs of chicken breast here, nice fresh chicken breast. So $13.83 and there's a lot there, I would say. There is an awful lot. If you want to grab some chicken breast to cook with, throw on the barbecue. Laura's just picked up our favorite microwave bacon. This is $10 for four packs. Not cheap, but amazing, isn't it? It sounds really weird, guys, microwave bacon, but it's phenomenal. I used to try it at first. I was like, I'm not having microwave bacon in a bag. It's phenomenal, this stuff. If you want, if you, honestly, try it and come back to me and you can microwave it for a little bit longer and make it extra crispy. It is amazing and no mess. Just put the little sheets in the bin, job yeah. done. There's no frying and all that, smelling the house out, dead quick and easy. I'm back with a price comparison. Coffee mate. Yeah, this yeah. would be 250 for this yeah. size at home. That was $4.98. $4.98. So as I've just said with the coffee, yeah. the coffee was quite expensive. If they can, bring it in a sandwich bag, it's going to be cheaper. Exactly. Bring it in a sandwich bag in your suitcase, because yeah, you're going to pay the price. Coffee. Yeah. Like well, anything like that, powdered, your Ooh. favorite coffees, your favorite tea yeah. bags, yeah. bring them in your case, they don't weigh anything. Yeah, them yeah. Them sandwich bag, bag. job done. are all your different tomato sauces all your different marinara sauces low ooh, look at that roasted garlic some of them are no added sugar some of them have got garlic in you, you will see them everywhere though this great value keep an eye out look at that nearly a dollar difference but there's so much variety is what i find with the american shops there's so much variety with everything they don't just do some tomato sauces there's almost an aisle full of tomato sauces they don't just do beans there's loads of different beans you can go for different flavors so we've just hit my favorite aisle now which of course is the sweet aisle why wouldn't it be the sweet aisle so i'm going to show you all of these different options i want to know your favorites in the comments if you could pick anything from this aisle one bag of sweets or chocolate what you're going for You've got your Hershey's, M&M's, you name it, all in here. Let me know in the comments. If you could have one bag, what would you get? We are going to do a few little giveaways for this trip as well. Definitely. So I'm going to be picking up a few bits of things that we're going to be giving away on the channel. So let me know because I'll be coming back before we go back home. And then we're picking up some bits for a little bit of a giveaway on the channel. I'll give you more information about that, but let me know. so that was all the chocolate there now we're going to start going through some of the sweets we've got different haribos nerds lifesavers and the american skittles of course which do taste 
completely different here in America. Yeah, some of the flavours that we're not allowed back in the UK and in Europe, they do have here. Oh, what are these? Haribo Berry Clouds. Oh, they look quite nice to try. They look good. I'll try a bag of them. What else have we got? Mini, oh, mini frogs. I'll have them. I like my frogs. What else have we got? Tangfastic mix. Some different stuff. Ooh, sweet, and sweet, sweet and sour Ooh. twin snakes. I see. It's all going in the bag now. Look, spending a fortune. Your trolley, uh, sour patch kids. All your sour sweets, they are. The whole sugar free section, Mum's just found. You got all different uh, sugar free peanut butter snacks, toffee items, they're like a sugar free Snickers. Yeah. Very um, similar to a Snickers. A sugar free bounty. Ooh, see, it's really good for your sugar free options. And they're all like different flavoured, a bit like your Chiardellis, them caramel, uh, raspberry, mint, uh, the equivalent of Smarties there. Some good options, zero sugar Twizzlers, uh, zero sugar Reese's, Hershey's, that's good, never used to have this, Lifesavers as well. Okay, so we're in another one of our favourite aisles and this has got all of your uh, things for baking, so they're like your little chocolate chips for putting in your cookies, they do have the cake mixers down here as well. Look at that, peanut butter bites. Oh, no, dear, butter finger bits. Oh, that yeah. would go in your bake, so you could put them on top of a cheesecake or something at home that you'd make. And then all your different flour bakery sections here. I think it might be the next style that's got the uh, cake batter mixes, but look at these, marshmallow spaghetti. Don't show Laura this. She'll have me up the wall for all of these. Different marshmallows, they look amazing. They look amazing. Love the marshmallows proper American marshmallows and they are very different to UK marshmallows as well. These here, some of my favourites as well. You look straight over like Flynn, I knew she'd be coming. Laura, I did eye up them. Looked, my, They looked my favourite to me. They looked my favourite. Are you leaving them? Look at the marshmallow spaghetti. I know all the different jellos they've got. Starburst, Dove, Oreo, Hershey's. I know I love me these. And here's all your, oh yeah, they all are. So there's all your cake mixes, cake batters, cookie dough mixes, all here. Mug treats, so this is all your cake in a mug. You've got sugar-free, gluten-free here, Laura, in the green boxes. You've got a Funfetti, oh, I see. I know Laura well, don't I, at this point. And uh, I wouldn't mind another Chiar Deli one like you'd got me last time, if you want to treat me, Laura. I mean, this this here wouldn't, it wouldn't look look amiss in our trolley. <laughs> wouldn't look amiss. But yeah, here's all your uh, stuff you can make at home, take it home with you. Brownie cups, they look really good, don't they? The different brownie cups there. Let me know, everyone, in your comments. What would you go for? Cookie cups, Chardelli. These are lovely. I've had these before. Let me know what you'd go for. Oh, hey, look at that. Six inch pan. And you can microwave it at that as well. It doesn't have to be baked. So I think this can be, you can pop that in the microwave. Here you go then, Mum. I'll treat you. Yeah. Uh, uh, treat you, it's treat you, you mean. And we're going for it here, aren't we? We've already got a lemon meringue to try. It's a like, cool little plancher, $25. Little plancher for your bacon and your pancakes. That was Laura going to bed last night after Horror Night snack at that. Sounds like you last, last night, Laura. Some cool little Disney items as well they have around. These are really good bowls and into an aisle, which again, is extremely popular. The cereal aisle. Look at the size of these bags of cereal. It's like what you'd get your dog food in at home, Laura, your big resealable bag. Cookie chip. 
you put them in. There's such massive boxes and bags of cereal. Lucky Charms. Again, let me know what is everyone's favorite cereal when they come away. A lot of people look forward to having cereal that they can't get at home. Wendy's Frosty Chocolate Cereal. Cocoa Puffs, Cocoa Pebbles. Tricks. Apple Jacks. Oh, there's loads. Peanut Butter Crunch. Checks. A lot of people like the checks. Pokemon. Never seen them before. Pokemon cereal. And on the other side, you've got more breakfast items, which is all of your oatmeal. Yeah. Lucky Charm oatmeal. And then, of course, your butter pancakes, your waffles, all of that goodness, all of that good, good stuff. And your delicious maple syrup which i love love that tree hive maple syrup and honey or oh, them on some pancakes with some crispy bacon and then even more pop popular your pop tarts frosted s'mores to pop tarts what would you do for one of them laura cookies and cream ego pop tart and your Rice Krispie Treats, which I mentioned earlier, they do love Rice Krispie Treats over here. Love them. And if you've got a family that love them as well, and you're gonna go through them, if you go here for a couple of weeks, great snack for the parks. Get yourself a big box of 64. The dead lightweight, great snack to carry around the parks then. Full of energy and then lightweight, you know, they won't yeah. give them out to the kids. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't matter if they get squashed either because they're all sticky gooey anyway. It's a good snack for the park, that. Cheerios. Raisin bran. Now, it's a good thing to note the Cheerios out here, oddly, are gluten free. Oh, okay. But in England, they're not. So, so, so all of your Cheerios. Order, they're multi grain, yeah, are all, all gluten free. All gluten free naturally, yeah. And naturally gluten free, but in England, they're not. So many choices. So much choice, isn't there, Laura? It's amazing. So much choice. Again, another good snack for the park, Nature Valley. These can get crushed up though and go a bit crummy in your bag. That's the only thing I find with the uh, Nature Valley. Full of energy though. Again, you've got your great value ones there as well. Crunchy granola bars. So there you go, there's the equivalent. You can get a pack of them, which are slightly cheaper. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see clearly. Make it nice and easy for you. Special Cray, you've got your, again, all your great value corn flakes. You want to keep it simple. Uh, fruit and yogurt awake. The thing they're good at is a keto. I don't follow keto diet, but a lot of people do follow a keto diet. Okay. You got all the keto options. Nice. Nice. How stressed are you, Dad? On a scale of one to ten, it's getting to about eight now. Really? Yeah. Getting stressed out with all this shopping, well, are you? What are you buying here now? I'm, not, I'm just looking. I'm just looking. But like, I've now passed the time that. I should be in a supermarket. Yeah, you get stressed out, don't you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm also thinking it's going to be a big bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, so this will surprise a lot of you. In room 101 for me would be crisps. I don't do crisps. I hate the sound of them. I hate the bags rustling. I hate the greasy fingers. I hate the smell of them. But moving on from that, if you're a crisp fan, which I know a lot of you are, look at the amount of options you've got here. I love these variety packs. I think for families, these are great. If you've got a family that loves or mix of th different things, you can get 18 bags in a box of all different ones. Cheetos mixed with Lay's, mixed with Ruffles. I think it's a really good idea that those mix boxes. And you can get different sizes as well. They're classic and cheesy. So this is a box that's mostly cheesy flavored. It's really clever uh, the way they do those, but in general, you've got all your big packs of all different crisps. Now, if you are a crisp fan, let me know in the comments what bag of crisps you're going for here. What are these? Chester's fries. These just. I see none of these really do it for me. Do you know what I mean? There's a chili and lime. I just. I, I don't get the fascination personally. Scorching Pringles. Scorching wavy Pringles. Cheddar and sour cream. Pizza flavoured. Hot ones, scorching hot. First we feast. Los Calientes. 
Rojo. Oof, they look, they look limited time only. They look very hot indeed, them. They could be one for Mick, them. Give him some of them. So, Dad, do you dare to scan? It even says dare to scan. Are you going to dare to scan them? Blow your head off. You've done fall, I've Curry. Done the hottest hot dog. Yep. I think those will be a breeze compared. So? Yeah. Well, he looks happy on the label, doesn't he? He, he looks like he's on fire. <laughs> and it's his face, not his other end, you know what I'm saying? But shall we give them a go? Go on, go on, do it. For $1.96, I'll treat you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all your different flavour Doritos here. I do love my cool blue ranch. I am. I just said I wasn't a crisp fan, but as a very rare treat, I do eat some blue Doritos. And the main reason um, I, I get these here is because... You can't, I can't get them in Tenerife anywhere. So they're a little bit of a, a treat for me because I can't get these in Tenerife. And technically these aren't crisps, but yeah, I sort of just contradicted myself there. But as a very rare treat, I do have these. What am I like with crisps, Laura? I've contradicted myself because I said I don't eat crisps, but then I'm about to get them. They're the only ones I'll ever have. Then all of these are good. These are all your different crisps to dip in all the nacho sauces, all the different salsas, spinach. What are you grabbing here, Laura? I'm grabbing some hot salsa. So, Ooh. Some so you can get ones that are a bit sort of rounded shaped like these where you scoop it up and get it to sit in the middle or you can go for more, dip them in triangle style. All different styles, your ruffles. Lay's poppables, go for it, try them. Flaming hot ruffles. So many different options. Dilly pickle flaming hot. Three layer cheese flavored new. They look interesting. They're new out as well. If you're into your cheese crisps, that would definitely be one for you. So we're nearly there, we're now in the drink aisle. And again, there's some drinks that you can get here that you can't get back in Europe or in the UK. Various different brands. Some of this Sunkiss, strawberry lemonade, blueberry lemonade, that looks nice, full of sugar though. There's uh, some things here that you just don't quite get back in England or taste different because we have different laws, which means we can't put certain E numbers in drinks, certain sugars different little bits like that love mountain dew i think we've already got some mountain dew i think laura mountain dew zero this is lovely that's like a lemonade drink it is nice the mountain dew all your pepsi as well and i'm going to try and pick up some of the different flavored monsters that you can't get in england as well sorry uh, sierra miss this is nice lemon lime flavored they're good then but yeah some of the monsters here are flavors that you can't get again uh, back in Europe or in England so I will pick up some of those and again they don't just do Ritz crackers they've got loads of different Ritz crackers <laughs> it's a whole wall here of crackers and crisp thins goldfish goldfish cheddar goldfish flavor blasted extra cheddar so much variety. I mean, someone said go and pick up some cheddars. What ones are you gonna pick? Because there's a whole aisle full of them. This is all just your water on the left-hand side. Good to know though what price the water is. So $2.98 for a five pack of, uh, this is slightly flavored water, mandarin orange for the kids. Pure life standard water, this is a 12 pack. $5.36 for a 12 pack of bottled water. And then you've got the big value here as well. 40 pack, so you're definitely going to get a 40 pack, aren't you, for the great value um, is recommended. Don't forget in the parks as well, they do have water fountains. So if you could take a bottle, refillable bottle, you can fill up with the water fountains. But if you want to just bottles of water, we're going to grab a, a few just to make it a bit easier. And then, oh, Ships Ahoy, cookies now. On uh, Mr. Cookies, soft baked peanut butter and chocolate drizzle. Chewy Chips Ahoy. 
Oreo Cakesters. Never seen them before. Have we got any flavoured Oreos that we haven't got or that are new? Toffee Crunch. Never seen them before. Peanut Butter. Java Chip. What have you spotted here? Gluten free. Double stuff. Ooh, you enjoy Laura. I'll show you the price of eggs. So $3.27 for 18 eggs, just to give you an idea. Again, you've got free range, you've got organic, you've got different options, but to give you an idea of the cheapest eggs in here, 18 large eggs is $3.44. Just so you've got an idea, and just to show you the milk as well. What price have we got on the milk? So for your standard great value milk, $3.32 for your reduced fat 2% milk. And that is a big um, bottle as well, that smaller bottle, $1.97. That's more like the size you get in the UK. So not too bad, not too bad for uh, milk and eggs. If you've watched the channel before, you all know I love these packs of grated cheese. And people are going, well, why? It's just, you know, it's just a pack of grated cheese. But if you know, you know, you can't beat some of these mild cheddars. Oh, they're just so good. Here you go, sharp cheddar just here. These grated packs of cheese are just delicious. Oh, I just eat it out the pack, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I'm gonna go for this. It's $19.98, but it's 12 packs. And this is a variety pack with three different flavors of the monsters. So we've got uh, Ultra Gold, Fiesta Mango. I've tried that before, it's nice. The Ultra Rosa, and this is my one of my favorites. I have this quite a lot, is the lemon one there. So I'll probably just grab a multi-pack. Uh, nice and easy. We've got a few different flavors in there as well. And these are the zero sugar. That's the key part, uh, zero sugar in them. All your different vitamin waters and ice waters here. Again, good for the parks, full of your vitamins, keep yourself hydrated. If you've got a busy day, especially out here in the summer, September time, the humidity is unreal. Uh, these vitamin waters are pretty good to keep you going. That's a 10 pack for $5.48, which is not too bad. Not too bad, that. Just pick myself up a couple of little meals for uh, if we're just gonna have a quick dinner we're not gonna eat out every night uh, we've got a chicken curry just nice quick and easy bang it in the oven and also i'm gonna go for some korean style crunchy chicken with soy garlic sauce gonna give that a go sounds interesting just a bit of korean you know mix it up give it a try but yeah we're not gonna be eating out every single night so i'm gonna buy these for now but we can always pop in with where we are on Windsor Hills, that's the beauty of it. I can always pop in here anytime. It's literally 30 seconds down the road. So one night I will definitely come in and going in the deli and getting the freshly cooked chicken. And that's one of my dinners for the night. Quickly, you've got your uh, Krispy Kremes on the way out. Pumpkin spice, the last one's left. I'm not a pumpkin spice fan. I'm just, I love the chocolate ones, but I can't buy a pack of 12 because it's just too much. I mean, he's. Here's Dad's trolley here, full of drinks, stocking up. Also bought a cooler box, so what we'll do with that, it's disposable. We'll keep that in the car with a few cooler blocks in, fill it up with cans and drinks, so when you do go to the parks, when you get back to the car, you've got your cold drinks there ready to go. Is there any doctors, nurses, dental nurses, vets, vet nurses, if you're in any of that sort of profession, good place to come and get some cheap scrubs but they're good quality but some good ones for like halloween and things this is really good fun if you're you know 
if, you, if you've got the ability to wear this stuff in work for the kids and stuff that's fantastic they'd love that during halloween and they change it they'll have christmas things at christmas and um, they change it through the seasons but it's also a good place to come and get some uh, very reasonably priced uh scrubs and these are like thin material as well ultimate stretch and um, my dad used to get some when he was a dentist at home he's retired now but he would get some stuff from walmart especially some of this fun stuff for the kids if he could uh, he would pick them up and a good place to come and get some of your disney merch as well pajamas t-shirts bum bags these are all again reasonably priced for uh, like 15 dollars for a nice disney top and uh, this isn't fake gear either they've done an agreement with disney so this isn't fake knockoff stuff this is sort of approved by disney this it's got a proper disney label but it's all very reasonably priced even like mugs key rings hats ears towels all a lot cheaper than than in your main parks just paying there and he's balking he's like oh my god the price 350 wow i mean ours is gonna be 350 but yeah we've got products here as well but we've stocked up for a good three weeks though and that is quite a good few amount of dinners and yeah, things like that it looks a lot but eat, like, you take home this is all we're gonna go through all toilet rolls milk it'll all be used but it stocks as well i mean tw those 12 cans will probably last me the whole trip those monsters yeah. So it, it sounds a lot at once, and it is a lot at one hit, but spread out, that is gonna, you know, that's the that's most of what we need for three weeks there. But yeah, I mean, it does show you the price. $350 wouldn't be too bad with a good exchange rate, but with an exchange rate like it is at the moment, for our euros, it's basically parity. So, expensive. There we go, that concludes our big shop at Walmart. Our bill came to $255. I think ours was 350 350 so certainly not cheap, no. but that set us up for three weeks. Yeah. We've got meals in there, which are gonna be our dinners, so we won't be eating out those nights. We've I've got, got a curry, I've got chicken, yeah. pizza, yeah. chicken bites, what else yeah. have you got? All kinds. Stuff for hot dogs. Yeah, meals. We got like Jude a couple of toys as well. I got him a bubble machine. That's like ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. certain bits and bobs in there, but it gives you a good idea of what sort of prices you're going to be looking at. As I said, for Americans, it's not really changed too much. It's us with the exchange rate where it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, but I hope you did enjoy it. Do let me know in the comments. As I said, we are going to be doing a giveaway, so let me know in the comments some of your favourite treats there from the sweet aisle. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. There's plenty of Florida vlogs on the way. We're here for three weeks, so plenty coming up. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Anything to note, Laura? Anything particularly jumped out at you? What was your favourite part? Oh, I can't wait to try caramel sauce, I guess. Caramel <laughs> sauce for apples. What was your yeah. favourite bit? Favourite all, product? All, all the bits. That you, you can't, can't just say all of it every time. No, all the bits you can't get at home. Right. Like you love yeah. fabric. Yeah, yeah, mum's favourite is the fabric stuff. cleaner that yeah. smells good. Yeah. 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 So that's going to be it from us. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on into Walmart. Don't spend too much like we did. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.